Hello everyone and welcome to WordPress User TV. Coming up in today's show, I'll be talking about how to create a blog. But most importantly, we'll be talking about the mechanics that make your blog work. And then in the second part, I'll be talking about how to actually style it and make it look good. All right, so let's get started. So first of all, you need to choose a hobby or a niche that you can go into which has enough people that um, can consume your content. This may be video articles, which I'll explain uh, in a little bit. Okay, so once you've chosen your hobby or your niche and you're sure that there are people that are interested in, in that uh, hobby or niche, what you need to do then is to register a domain name. Okay, so when it comes to the domain registration, hover.com is the uh, service that I use and I really recommend this because it's, uh, it's very easy to use, especially if you're a beginner, straightforward, no upsells. So it's, that's why I recommend it. When it comes to hosting, I recommend InMotion Hosting. In fact, if you use my affiliate link below, you'll get a 57% uh, discount on your purchase. And also, I get to give you my courses absolutely free. All you have to do is to click the link below and then uh, uh, let me know the uh, receipt number and I'll give you access to the courses. And the courses are uh, the WordPress Mastery course and the DV University course. Okay, so now that is, that's out of the way, uh, let's talk about the content. Now, what really is going to make your blog work is the actual content. Without the content, there's no point in having a blog because you want to attract as many people as possible to your uh, website so that they can read the articles or they can watch the videos or if it's podcasts, they need to watch those podcasts. I mean, listen to those podcasts. So creating content is going to be very, very key in all of this. Now that we've established that you need to create the content, before you actually start creating the content, you need to do the keyword research. Now, there are several tools out there like SEM Rush. In fact, Google has the uh, free uh, Google keyword tool, which you can use. But I tend to use uh, the KW Finder. Now, this, in fact, let me show you what it looks like. KW Finder. So what this app does is it allows me to see which keywords are harder to, um, to rank for and it gives me a scale. So let's say how to create a website. I would search for this like that. So here I can see that uh, the indicator here is showing that it's high, which means it's going, to, it's going to be very hard for me to rank for this keyword. So you need to come over here and look for a keyword which has a high search volume and also uh, easier to rank for. So ideally, around here, you need to be around below 40 or below 40 and 50 as the scale. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard for you to compete in the top 10 because if you're not in the top 10, no one's going to see your, uh, your content. And also, uh, the other key thing is you need to create this content uh, on a regular basis because that's how Google rewards you. So if you have a schedule, that will be that will work great for you. Now let's move on to the next thing, which is video. Now when it comes to video, it's the same thing. I use a tool called uh, TubeBuddy. So I'll just go to my YouTube homepage here so I can show you how it works. So I'm going to come over here, click on Tag Explorer. So I'm going to do the same thing, how to design a website. This is the process that you need to go through before you actually start planning for your video because without doing this, it's going to be very, very difficult for you. Now, here's the thing. I've searched for how to design a website and TubeBuddy is actually saying uh, the search volume is very high, which is good, and the competition is a bit high. So it's given me an overall indicator here of good. So that means I can safely go uh, and create a tutorial or a video around how to design a website. Okay, so ideally, if, again, if you're brand, brand new, I would look for an indicator which is lower than the 65 out of 100 because there will be a lot of people there in, um, in, the, in, the, in the search results. And if your channel is not an authority channel, you may not rank as high. So you need to build that up first before you can really rank for that. Okay, so these are the two tools that I've mentioned. So your blog as well can also have audio. Now, there's no tool out there that I know of that you can use 
to do the keyword research for audio because the biggest platform out there is the iTunes and I haven't come across anything. But it's a fantastic platform to start creating your content. So the idea now with all of this is number one, to create content so that you can attract people to come to your blog, okay? So once they've come to your blog, you can do several things. You can, build, you, you can add them onto your mailing list and you can also uh, make money with your blog by uh, suggesting affiliate programs and so on. And uh, I could leave that for a next uh, topic. Okay, so now that we've spoken about the, uh, the tools to find your keywords, if they are competitive or not, Let's talk about the hardware. Now, if you're a beginner, okay, you haven't created videos before, you probably have a smartphone. I would say start creating videos with your smartphone straight away. If you're, whether it's an Android or an iPhone, just carry on and start creating uh, videos with that. Um, I use a webcam and this is a Logitech C920, I think, but uh, I'll leave the link in the show notes below. Now, this webcam is really, really good because that's the webcam I use to go live. So it does a very good job of that. And um, I also use it for my videos that I, uh, my how-to videos that I create. So it's a very good um, uh, webcam to use if you're starting off. Uh, the next thing as well here is the audio. You need to make sure that you have an, uh, an audio uh, device, now uh, an audio microphone. Now, if you're a beginner, I would recommend that you use a Rode uh, lav mic. This just plugs into your phone and boom, that's it. That's your perfect audio. And the end bit looks like uh, similar to this. You pin it close to your mouth or on your, on your clothes and that's your audio for your, um, for your device. So straight away, it's very inexpensive. It's less than $50. Just buy that on Amazon and that's your audio sorted. So you can do vlog type videos. You can go out there, do your vlogs without worrying about the quality of the video because this will just resolve that. Just bear in mind that these things that I'm suggesting are pretty much for a beginner level, someone who's, who really wants to get started with uh, uh, blogging. So this is what I would use. So even for your audio podcast, I would even recommend using that Rode Live mic because the sound quality is not too bad. The key thing in all of this is to create content. Without content, you might as well not even go into blogging because how are people going to find your blog? They only find it through the content that you create. And that content that you, that you create needs to be evaluated. I mean, those topics that you create need to be evaluated. You need to see how competitive they are before you can actually start creating content around them. Finally, I have a free course that I'm giving away. This is the WordPress Mastery course. All you have to do is to sign up and you can have access to it 100% free. There's no strings attached. This is just your entry level to uh, WordPress, so it shows you everything that you need to know from registering a domain name to setting up all your pages and your posts and all that good stuff. So sign up for that course, it's absolutely free. In the next episode, I'll be talking about how to actually style your blog and make it look good, make it look professional. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to this channel and, um, and also give me a thumbs up if you like it and also if you can, go to diviuniversity.com and, uh, uh, and sign up for the mailing list. By doing that, you'll be notified every time I um, produce new videos. All right, so that does it for this episode. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.